News out of the China trade story. Next round of talks later this week. Mnuchin and Lighthizer headed to Beijing. Meanwhile, British Prime Minister Theresa May's next move in the UK's exit from the European Union, also a focus. Here's what President Trump told me about key issues on trade in my interview with the president last week. You said that the tariffs are going to stay in place for a substantial period of time. Is there a snag in these negotiations? No, not at all. But we have, uh, if you look at technology and the first $50 billion of goods, we want to keep that and because we need that. You know, we have what's called the chicken tax. You know what that is yes. on the small vans and trucks and different things. And that's a great thing for us. And that has to do with the automobile industry. That's the best segment. People don't know. We get a 25% tariff on that segment. That's our best segment by far. If you slap more tariffs, if you slap tariffs on auto and auto imports, doesn't that uh, affect the global uh, stream of goods? Doesn't it slow down the economy? It's expensive. Yes, and but what's you know the what it does? Game? I'll tell you what the end game is. They'll build their plants in the United States, and they have no tariffs. Yeah, but what if the Europeans come back to you and say, Mr. President, let's go to zero percent. Let's go to no tariffs. Are you willing to give up that 25 percent tariff on light trucks? No, because a Chevrolet will never sell like a Mercedes sells here. They've, uh, they've offered me that. They said, oh, I have an idea. We'll go no. Well, the problem is that the Chevrolet will never be accepted in Europe like the Mercedes is accepted here. So it's not a good deal. I wouldn't do that deal. They've offered me that deal. So you wouldn't do zero tariffs with I would do it for certain products, but I wouldn't do it for cars mm -hmm. because uh, they have BMW, they have Mercedes, they have a lot of very good cars that come in. And they make them here. I want them to make them here. Instead of making them over there, make them here. If you're going to sell them to the Americans, make them here. Joining me right now, Wells Fargo Asset Manager, PMV Equity Team co-lead, and Maletti. Great to see you, Anne. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. How important is this China uh, trade deal that they're going to be working on this upcoming week? I do think it's important because investors have been anticipating it, and it could be the next catalyst for growth for the market. So I do think it's pretty important. Liz, do you think that they're going to be able to come up with um, an enforcement to keep China from, from, from stealing IP. I think that's one of the linchpins to any deal because we know that the Chinese are, are willing to open up their markets to, for financial services. I understand JP Morgan's about to get a big, a big win in, in that regard, and we know that the Chinese are willing to buy more stuff, soybean, et cetera. Yeah, th this is what a about big hurdle. IP? This is clearly the thing that they've been working on for months now, and everyone is very skeptical about it. So it is obviously very critical to see this deal concluded, and I think it's going to be helpful to the markets. But in terms of enforcement, my optimism about this stems from the fact that we have incredibly good people working on this. Lighthizer and Navarro are tough. They're experienced. They know what they want. They went in early on with this uh, objective of establishing protections for intellectual property for yeah. American companies. I don't think they're going to back down on that. So that is clearly the big issue. And trade or otherwise, what sector? So the trade deal, <clears throat> in my personal opinion, and I've been appreciating the comments and the feedback, but my opinion is that if we do have a trade deal, it will help the stock market, and I don't think it'll be good for cryptocurrency because uh, it's just going to help move capital to other assets that look more attractive than cryptocurrencies. That's not necessarily a bad thing because long term, I don't think there's anything you can do about cryptocurrency. It's going to become larger and larger market share, and more and more people are going to move to using um, crypto as a method of payment and to avoid bank fees and some of the future use case scenarios that I've mentioned on this channel. Um, but the Chinese trade deal, I do feel like if they're able to work things out, which I think Trump will be able to do, um, it's going to be good for the stock market. And I don't think that will correlate with the crypto market. But let me know what you guys think. And obviously on the opposite, if the trade deal falls apart and we do have a stock market collapse, I do feel like uh, we'll see a rush of capital to crypto. But let me know your thoughts on this and what you guys think, and I will talk to you soon.